with Anarchy Outdoors uh, coming at you. We are, we're excited. We're getting the YouTube channel back up and rolling. Today we're going to talk about our precision rifle grips. Mostly known as the Penguin, the Tuxedo, and the Emperor. Sorry, I grabbed the Emperor. It's, here's a Penguin. Penguin. Anyways, we're going to talk about these grips today and why they're important, why you should consider picking one up, and different things like that. First off, this was developed by a friend of mine. He's a former third ranger, uh, third ranger battalion. Uh, him and some federal law enforcement agencies, they worked on developing this uh, just for a precision rifle group uh, grip, especially on uh, a gas gun. As you can see, bolts back, it's clear. But they developed to run specifically on a gas gun as well on precision rifle. So a couple of the overviews, or let's talk overview and then we'll talk uh, differences in the grips. Let's grab an original penguin right here. This is manufactured here in the United States. It is made out of a material called nylon 12. Composite manufactured, uh, so it's laser centric. You get X, Y, and Z access, so you get injection molded strength on these. And a couple of the key features is they'll work with an AR-15, so it has your safety um, spring and reten uh, retention pin hole drilled into it. So designed to work on an AR-15 to allow you to get your hand in there to work the safety, different things like that. Designed with the AR-15 and precision rifle chassis in mind. Uh, right here on the side we have a shelf. This shelf is designed to align your trigger finger with the trigger. What it does is it bumps it out just enough to allow you to get a 90 degree take on the trigger and then keeping your thumb aligned with the rifle. There's a couple reasons for this. One, there's a pulse in your thumb uh, that can affect the harmonics of the rifle. Two, when you're taking a long range precision shot, the, the least that you can the least amount of flexion you can put into the rifle with your wrist will, will improve accuracy. So that's the shelf, the thumb shelf for alignment of the hand, for repeatability. Uh, it also minimizes fatigue. So this grip was designed for guys doing overwatch. So this shelf on the bottom allows you to rest your hand in a ready position without having to grip the gun. So it's an anti-fatigue mechanism. So that's, that's a brief overview of the grip. Let's talk about a couple of the specific grips and kind of a few of the key features with the different grips. So as I said, we've got the three grips right here. We've got the Emperor, the Penguin, and the Tuxedo, the three different grips. They're available in left and right hand. So let's talk uh, grip specifications. So we'll use the Tuxedo. The grip, has the, the thumb shelf on the side, the same side as your, your trigger hand, okay? So if you're a right-handed shooter, the shelf is gonna be on the right side. If you are a left-handed shooter, thumb shelf is going to be on the left side. And this is, like I said earlier, is to keep that thumb aligned with the, with the trigger finger. So uh, left and right-handed shooters. So again, if you're a right-handed shooter, the th thumb shelf is on the right side. If you're a left-handed shooter, it is on the left side, okay? And then talking about a few different features, the original design was the Penguin, the Penguin Group. We cut this out to save weight and material and to make it look different. I mean, you take a look at that and you automatically say, hmm, what is that? Why is it shaped like that? And, and it's a conversation starter. So we did that, we cut it out. It looks like a Penguin, so hence the Penguin name. Looks like an Emperor Penguin. And then it has a raised lettering on the front, as well as a nice sweep here on the back. A lot of guys ask, what's the difference between the Penguin and the Tuxedo? And there's two differences. One is, there is no lettering on the front for guys that want a smooth, clean front, um, versus this lettering here. And the other is, is one is skeletonized and the other is not. Due to the fact that we could enclose the sides on the tuxedo, it's a lot thinner than the penguin, just due to strength and different things like that. So that's the tuxedo grip. 
that's the penguin grip. And then the last one we have is the emperor grip. The emperor grip is, is identical to the penguin in um, thought and design and process. It's just designed with guys that have big fingers. So as you can see here, I'll point this out, right here you can see I can get my three fingers in the grip here. It works for me. I have a size 10 ring finger, so it fits perfectly right in there. And then if you look at the Emperor, I can get all four fingers in there. So this is for guys with ring size 13 plus, so that they have plenty of room, their fingers aren't squished. We also, because they've got bigger hands, we also made the swell back here slightly bigger, the shelf slightly bigger, and this portion is slightly longer. All the spef specifications on length and sweep and stuff are on the product details on, on the website. So those are those are the those are the grips. They come in all three of them come in right hand, left hand, and they come in three different colors. They come in OD green, they come in, you know, Henry Ford's Model T, you can get it in black, black and black. So they come in black, they come in OD green, and then they come in uh, coyote, uh, coyote brown. Uh, we've got some awesome infographics up on the website that will give you more details. We'll, uh, we'll link to that below. And then if you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. And remember to like and subscribe to the video.